Okay. I wanted the sympathy vote. Does that count? So I figured uh, six hours in county hospital trying to get my foot x-rayed or I could come here. So I came here instead. Uh, so we all know that. But my name is Sherry Atwood. I am uh, the founder and CEO of a company called Atavi. And Atavi is an acronym for It Takes a Village. Uh, and my co-founder is here with me as well. She's also helping me actually get around. Uh, that's Lorena Chu is our co-founder. And so the one thing that relationship experts agree on is that the top two reasons why people get divorced are because of money and communication. But when you get divorced and you have children, you get to communicate about money. And it doesn't get better, it gets much worse and much more complicated. And that was certainly the case with me. So many years ago, I have a nine-year-old daughter. I was a vice president of marketing at Symantec. I was traveling the world, juggling being an executive, a single mother, and having to deal with this thing called child support. And what people don't understand when it comes to child support is child support isn't just simply a base monthly payment that one parent pays to the other. Usually when people hear ba child support, they hear about deadbeat dads or the ones that don't pay. But there's actually a huge market. In fact, in the US, it's 39 million parents. Uh, globally, it's over 298 million parents that actually exchange child support. And when they exchange child support, that means they pay a base amount, but they also split expenses such as medical, healthcare, schooling, dance lessons, anything that the child does, the parents are actually splitting the expenses. And so when I uh, went through my divorce and was trying to manage all this, I looked for a solution to make my life easier. And what I was most shocked about was there was actually nothing on the market. So that became the basis behind Atavi. And so I thought, what better way to uh, demonstrate the problem than to actually hear it from a child's uh, voice? This is not work for a very single independent person. The only thing I hated more than eating my spinach was hearing my divorced parents discuss, or should I say, argue over money. Mom said, did you get my email that you owe half of the daycare expense? What about the money you owe me for half of her dance lessons? Or Dad said, I put together a spreadsheet of all the expenses. I can't believe a pair of shoes costs a hundred dollars. Can I see the receipt? But then they found a Tavi. All mom had to do was complete a simple registration. She connected her bank account to a Tavi. And entered the details of the child support order. And then an invitation was sent to dad. And to da she was ready to go. She could easily input an expense and attach a receipt. calculates how much each parent owes and sends an email to the other parent. Once Dad accepts the invitation, he can quickly log in or review the expense and, and make or schedule a payment. And if they don't agree, they can dispute the item and offer a solution. while having a complete history of expenses and payments. And even see where all their money is going. Man, kids are expensive. <laughs> and this money stuff is hard work. It's obvious it saves mom and dad time and and turns conflict into collaboration. Now they can spend their time and energy on what matters most, me and my brothers. Where are you going? That's right. So the, uh, 
the uh, actor actress there was really cheap. That's my nine-year-old daughter there. She now thinks she gets money or something every time we get a view on, on YouTube. Uh, but and that was my really bad way of doing an animated video. So she was like complaining about the haircut. Uh, but the uh, so right now we launched. We went into beta about three months ago, and we capped beta users at 100 users, and we have that. We have now over 1,100 people on the wait list. And we got that simply by doing a one press release, and then we spend a maximum of $25 per day on AdWords. Uh, and even then, child support as a term is searched 3.2 million times per month, and there is virtually no competition. In fact, we pay about nine cents cost per click. Don't take our words, right? So we're getting a lot of click-through rates, and uh, that's the only marketing we've done so far. Uh, we are currently in our seed round, so we're in a seed round of about 750K, and uh, that will get us to public launch, and we've raised about half of that so far. So that's a toby. Questions? No questions? No. Yes. I, I hope never to have to use this, but is it currently, is there currently anything on the market that does this at all? I mean, how is this handled through the courts or what? Yes, great question. Is there anything on the market like this at all? And shockingly, no, there's not. Most people, if they are focused in this market, they've spent their time on visitation management or custody management, so where the kid is at any point in time. The problem that people don't understand is once you get divorced, and my job here is actually to show people how bad it gets, so they never want to get divorced. So I'm not promoting divorce, I'm saying it gets worse, it doesn't get better, right? So, uh, but what happens is you get a child support order and then the courts were like, okay, here you go. Good luck and now go figure out how to actually manage this. And you're talking about managing money against somebody who you don't particularly want to talk to anyways. And the feedback from fathers is I have no problem paying. I just want to know that the money is going to my children. And the feedback from the mothers is I wish he would just pay me but I'm not his priority. So this now creates an independent system and the thought is it's like an expense management or bill payment system for child support, the same way you would do for your company an expense management system. And the other thing is like you get a bill for everything else in life, but you don't get a bill for child support. Mm -hmm. So it takes away all of those conflict and the, typically these conversations, the only time they ever happen is in front of the children Right, because that's the only time you ever see the, the two people see each other. And now they don't have to fight about money in front of their kids. They can focus on, you know, talking about good, positive things. But no, there's nothing on the market. Yes. So how do you monetize that? Uh, the way we're monetizing it is it's a try and buy, and there's a subscription. It's a subscription base. Uh, it starts at 19.99 a month, so you can try it for a period of time, and then 19.99, and then there's premium levels above and beyond that. Yes. How did you develop that price point? We developed the price point uh, because when I went out to the target customers, I said, how do you feel about nine bucks? They're like, absolutely. I said, how do you feel about 20 bucks? They're like, absolutely. So then all my engineers were like, yeah, 20 bucks. And I was like, no. And I said, how do you feel about 50 bucks? And they're like, Ugh. and I'm like, that's where we should start. <laughs> then I said, how do you feel about 99 bucks? And they're like, hmm. And if you think about it, it may sound like a lot, but we even have customers here in the Bay Area that are willing to pay two to $400 a month. They're exchanging, think about the paying person, it's 25% of their salary goes to the other person, right? So in the Silicon Valley, as an example, you're typically seeing between fifteen dollars and $25,000 a month being exchanged. In the U.S., it's $200 billion every year being exchanged in child support. Globally, it's $990 billion, so for somebody who's sending $25,000, they said they'd pay a million dollars to never have to talk to their ex again. <laughs> <laughs> but we're starting with the core features of uh, 20 bucks and 50 bucks, and then we want to offer offerings above that later on. Yes? Do you have to have a scanner to record the receipts, or do you take a picture of it and send it? Good question. Yeah, you could just take a picture of it the same way now with lovely smartphones. You take a picture and you send it as an attachment. So right now you just connect to it. Um, and then obviously in the future we want to add um, OCR technology to actually be able to scan it. The other thing I will add is we will have a debit card when we go into GA. So uh, if they use the debit card, then it will automatically add to their record so they don't even have to worry about uploading a, a receipt. So they actually pay you or? Yeah, so uh, today we use PayPal, but we're going off of that for GA because PayPal is simply way too expensive. 
um, and we're going to another payment gateway that's similar to PayPal, we call PayQuicker. And so the money will connect from their bank account to PayQuicker, same as a PayPal account. And then the other parent has a, a PayQuicker account connected to their bank account. So any money they put in, they can pay from there. Yes? Resolution of dispute. You had a comment field in there. Yes. Um, is that left up to the parents? Absolutely. We are not a mediation system, and we're not going to solve those problems. But the biggest issue is that uh, you go back to court for child support anytime your income changes or your time with the child changes. And typically then what happens is miraculously in court, either the mother or the father says, he didn't pay that or I told her I wasn't going to pay this. <laughs> this tracks it from the day of and then you have records from back then. You use records in court. Exactly. Okay. Independent. Yes. Would this not also work for gay married couples? I noticed you use yeah. male and female. Yes, I absolutely. So we target this to... Uh, any single parent, it doesn't have to be married, single, divorce, uh, a big part of this is blended families, the new husband, the new wife, absolutely gay couples. I can also say that it's the mothers paying and the dads, but those are also the minority instead of the majority. Yes, Dr. Um, I know that a lot of this is court mandated components to this. Yeah. So I guess what you do is you sort of put in the, I wasn't quite sure how the transaction part worked there a little bit. Do you, put in that 25% and that kind of automatically yes, so, through or how does that work? So yeah, the biggest problem that you face is you go to court and all this is court mandated or there's a child support calculator and they calculate it. We don't deal with that. Once you get the order, the question is how do you then manage it, okay. right? So if they have an issue, we then help with the management and the enforcement of that order that the parents have agreed upon afterwards. Yes. Uh, Are you going to allow lawyers to advertise on your site? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Affiliate networking, right? We'll give them some uh, some free referrals if they refer us. And from a lawyer perspective, I was shocked. I was like, why would lawyers want to refer us, right? We're taking away business. And the feedback we got from a lot of the family laws, it said this is the one area they hate. They don't want to call and have to deal with the one person complaining about the other person. So if you had something where I didn't have to take these 15-minute phone calls, it would be awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.